Hello everyone, I hope you're doing amazing and staying cool. Thank you for tuning into our channel and watching our videos. Today we'll be taking you on another fantastic hike on one of the most popular trails here in the Valley of the Sun. My name is Sean Rogers, lead of the Mr. Rogers Homes Arizona real estate team, and I would be more than happy to answer any of your questions about buying and or selling, renting or investing. All of my contact information can be found in the description below. But now, let's get hiking because it's hot out there. Make sure you drink a lot of water. The Superstition Mountains in Arizona is located to the east of the Phoenix metropolitan area and is a large mountain that is a popular recreation destination for everyone young and old. The mountain range is a federally designated wilderness area which includes a variety of natural features in addition to its namesake mountain. Weaver's Needle, a prominent landmark and rock climbing destination set behind and to the east of the Superstition Mountains is a tall eroded volcanic remnant. It also plays a big role in the legend of the Lost Dutchman Gold Mine. As with most of the terrain surrounding the Phoenix metropolitan area, the Superstition Mountains have a desert climate with high summer temperatures and a handful of perennial sources of water. The elevation in the more remote eastern portion of the wilderness is higher than the western portion, which lowers temperatures slightly, and there are numerous hiking trails that cross the mountains from the multiple access points. So be safe and enjoy all the wonder this beautiful area has to offer. Hey, it's David Hulka, AZ Realtor, Realtor on the Mr. Rogers Homes team of West USA Realty. And today I am doing a hike. I'm being led on a hike by somebody else. Uh, let's see, a canyon of the waterfalls here in the superstitions. Let me flip the camera around and show you the whole place. Here we go, it's, uh, let's see what time is it, 6.14 a.m. Sunrise was at 5.52, so just a few minutes ago. This is all some fire damage here. Uh, there's the front range of the superstitions here. So this is the uh, west end of the superstitions, like flat iron will be over there. Uh, praying hands are right there in front of us. So, um, I've never done this hike before. We've had a lot of rain this week. So it's called Canyon of the Waterfalls because after rain it will flow, but it's been at least two days since we've had any rain. So we'll have to see if there's actually any waterfalls flowing today. I don't expect it'll be much, if anything, maybe just a little trickle. short sleeve shirt. I guess it could get cold. It could get cool in the I guess there would be water flowing here if it's raining. You can see the stripes coming off the cliffs. I'd probably be standing in a stream of water right now if it was raining. Getting washed away. Get the saguaro, big tall one. Views. This part looks fun. Holy lord. A little thin and cliffy. Uh, it's, only, it's only four feet. You won't die. Well, if you bang your head. <laughs> yeah, you can just keep going. Hey, there's a puddle down there. Imagine that. <laughs> it is a little, it's not flat here. That is pretty slanty. That has some good grip on your shoes. Yeah, I can see where there would be a waterfall.
So this would certainly be cool if the water was flowing really good. Here we just have a little bit of a trickle and some algae. But it would certainly be gorgeous in the rain. Well, we are on our way back down again, so that was the extent of it. Would like to go either while it's raining or like immediately after a rain. I think that'd be amazing. Still great views though. I started a trend on the way back down. Everybody's coming through the slot on slot rock here. This is fun.